This is how to repair a set of Anchor Soundcore Life Q20 headphones that stopped charging. So I've had these for years and all of a sudden, the red light didn't come on when I plugged them in and they wouldn't charge. And I looked online and all the resources said, try resetting it, make sure you use the right cord, make sure you use the right plug. And I'm like, I'm using the same cord, same plug as I always have. They just aren't charging. Finally, I found the answer. The answer is not resetting anything, not the cord. There's a little diode in one of the ear cups in the headphones. Think of it like a fuse. And if it gets jostled or shorts out somehow or too much electricity to it, it will short out. The good thing is you don't have to replace it. You can just remove it and the headphones will start working again. So in removing this, you're kind of removing the fail safe, removing the fuse, but Without removing it, these headphones are basically useless anyways. So let me show you how to do it. The steps you need to do and the tools you need. First, you need something to pry the ear cup off. So you need something like this. You can use a butter knife, anything, any little knife, and you're gonna get in and pry this ear cup right off. It just pops off, it's a little plastic. Next, you need a screwdriver with a pretty small tip because you're gonna remove four of these tiny little screws. That will allow you to lift off this plastic ear cup. And underneath, you'll see that circuit board. Be careful when you lift up that ear cup because there is a wire holding the ear cup on. I just kind of turn it and set it up there while I work on it. Now, just above where you plug in the USB, you'll see this clear blue epoxy glue. And underneath it, on the right, is that little diode and you need to remove that. Now, I tried, first I tried using this tool and prying at it. That didn't work, I couldn't remove it. So what I used were these tiny little needle nose pliers. I grabbed it and gave it a little twist and it popped right out. Now you might have the glue still on there. My glue was kind of melted off. Maybe that's why it was getting so hot that glue kind of melted away. I could just get in there, grab it, and pry it off. To check, before I even reassembled everything, I plugged the cable back into the USB, the red light turned on, and it started charging again. And that's the whole fix. You just have to put the screws back in, snap the, the earpiece back on, and you're completely fixed. One more thing is, after the repair, I've been charging it for a couple hours, and it's not hot anymore. Before it was hot to the touch after I would charge it, now it's still cool. So I hope this helps. The fix only takes, I don't know, five minutes. You just take off the ear cup, take off the screws, pop the diet off, put it all back together. Um, but diagnosing it is always the hard part. So I hope this helps. Thanks.